Hi everyone, this is Manis Pandey. Welcome back. Today, we are going to explore code stage using input and output parameter in Blueprism. I will also walk you through a simple example to show how it works. So let's get started. Now let's understand what is code stage. Code stage is used to write and execute the code written in the wavy.net, csap.net or jsap.net languages. So in the previous video, we used this example, this code, where we are going to pass two numbers, number one, number two, and then doing the calculation, some of these two numbers and passing this to result and showing in a message box. Now we are going to use input and output parameters. So we'll be taking the value from the input parameters and pass the output to the output parameters, right? So first we'll take here one, two, three, three data items. Let me close this one, two, three. This data item will be taking for number one. This will be number second for number two. This will be again number third is for output you can say or you can say result. This will be also number. Now click OK. Now we'll open this code stage. We need to take two parameters in the inputs and one in the outputs. Click add two times. Now here we'll write number one and then we'll take the value from number one data item that we have created. So whatever value will be passed here in this data item will be passed to this number one parameter, right? So by this way, it will enter this value to this input parameters and this input parameter number one will, will be passed to this code. Now same way we have number two. So let me take this one. So value will be taken from number two data item and then it will be passed to the, the parameter name here. So now I'm passing this number two. It can be num1 and num2 as well. So you can put it like this if you want to go with that way. So we can say num1 and num2. So whatever value will pass from here, it will be passed to this parameter. Now we'll go to the output. So for output, you can see we have result. So click on add. So we'll write here result. And then we'll whatever value will take it from result from here, this will be passed to this output data item. So now we are going to store to the result or this can be output also. So we'll take it from here and pass to this result. We'll go to the code. Now you can see here three parameters. Now we have here right side num1, num2 and result. So these are these name num1, num2 and result. Whatever name we will put here, that will be parameter available here that we can use in the code. Now, as we have already created the parameters here and we have defined that, declared that as a data type here. Now, no need to define this one. We can just remove this, this as well. And now also no need to pass the hard coded value here. Just remove this one. And now we'll be just taking the value from here plus num1 plus num2 equal to result, right? So result value will be passed from here and then stored in this output. Now again, this message box is now not required because earlier there was no way to, you know, show the message, the value. Now we have a data item stage to show this output, this result to this data item. Now we have only one line of code to do the calculation. So result equal to num1 plus num2. So value will become from number one will be stored here, num2 here, and then it will pass to the result to here. Now just click on check code to validate the code. Now there's no error. So understanding this parameter is very necessary. Otherwise, like you will again, will be confused like which value will be passed here and which input will be passed there like that. So 
now click ok now just refresh this reset and refresh this go to number one and just to test this one we need to pass here let's say initial value 12 here I am going to pass let's say 2 so 12 plus 2 it should be 14 and the value should be output will be showing in this result now right click here set next stage and click step over now you can see here the value is 14 the 12 plus 2 equal to 14 now just change the value here that is 13 refresh reset right click set next stage and now this time should be 25 right thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you understand how to use code stage using input and output parameter in blue prism if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe if you have any question feel free to leave them in comments below until next time happy learning